Theresa May's Brexit drive suffered a fresh setback yesterday when it emerged that EU chiefs are determined to block her plan for a customs deal. Leaked information from Brussels suggested the EU's negotiating team have already rejected the Prime Minister's blueprint for free trade in goods between the EU and the UK after Brexit, and relations between the two sides were further soured by allegations that EU officials were booked by British security services to obtain details of their negotiating position. The latest extraordinary twist in the Brexit wrangle emerged yesterday as UK and EU negotiators resumed their talks in Brussels on Wednesday. Officials from both sides will reopen their attempt to resolve the dispute over the future of the Irish border and are due to discuss details of the future trade relationship between the EU and UK today. But Eurosceptic Tory said the EU's firm opposition to Mrs May's customs proposal, revealed by the Brussels leak, showed the Brexit plan agreed by cabinet ministers at Chica's last month was dead. Tory MP Andrew Bridgen, a member of the European research group of Eurosceptic Conservatives, said, this is a rare occasion where I agree with Brussels, Chica's would be a bad deal, we have got to dump it, and get on with agreeing a Canada style trade deal, whatever happens now, we have to accept that this is not an amicable divorce, we need a clean break from the EU and cannot go back on our decision to leave, the leaked information about the Brussels negotiating position came from a slide presentation prepared by the EU's negotiators. Although the slides were prepared before the Sheikah's proposals were agreed, they set out in detail why the EU would refuse to accept any arrangement leading to UK goods and services being treated differently in trade with the bloc after Brexit. At the heart of Mrs May's plan is a proposal for goods to be regulated by a common rulebook but for UK regulation for services to diverge from Brussels rules. In the slides, EU negotiators argue that allowing the split between treatment of goods and services would allow Britain to gain a competitive advantage that could undermine the EU single market. Further slides went into detail about how different economic sectors including chemical and cars mixed both goods and services production. The Commission warned that allowing the separation of goods and services in customs arrangements would lead to a level of erosion in the single market. EU officials raised security concerns after the UK negotiating team obtained material revealing the contents within hours of them being discussed by Commission insiders according to a report on Wednesday. Sabine Weyand, the EU's deputy chief Brexit negotiator, reportedly told officials at a European Council working party on exit talks that it could not be excluded that British intelligence agents had penetrated their meetings. The contents of the slides were shared between EU officials on 5 July, the day before Prime Minister Theresa May gathered the cabinet at Chica's to sign off her Brexit blueprint. Hours after the presentation, the UK lobbied at the highest level to block plans to publish the slides, sources in Brussels claimed. A European Commission spokesman said today, The Commission's position today is that we cannot comment on this press report. A spokesman at the Department for Exiting the EU declined to discuss the bugging allegations or the leak. Meanwhile, concern was growing among Eurosceptic Tories that the Prime Minister is poised to cave into EU pressure for Britain to effectively continue to accept free movement for EU citizens. Stuart Jackson, who was chief of staff to former EU exit secretary David Davies, said Tory MPs were becoming increasingly concerned that Mrs May had not set out the government's position on free movement. Capitulation on free movement will completely betray one of the central pillars of the Leave campaign, which is controlling our borders, Mr Jackson said. The Prime Minister has to urgently reassure both the Conservative Party and the country at large that she is not going to make any concessions. This evening a cabinet minister urged the EU to respond positively to the proposals set out in the Chica's agreement. Business Secretary Greg Clark, who has been meeting European ministers and business figures this week to discuss the Brexit negotiations, said, Since the publication of the White Paper I have travelled to five EU capitals to discuss our proposals with ministers and businesses. I am confident the UK and the EU now have the foundations and opportunity to come to a pragmatic and mutually beneficial deal. My discussions across Europe have demonstrated how clearly it is in everyone's interest that an agreement is reached quickly and no deal is avoided. The Commission has a responsibility to all the people of Europe to respond positively and constructively. If not, the disruption and impact on our continent's businesses, economies, and millions of hard-working families across the UK and EU will be significant and lasting.